Hello everyone, this is JC from the Cloud Alliances team at Canonical. A couple of weeks ago, we at Canonical launched the last version of Ubuntu, the most popular cloud operating system. In this video, we will see how easy it is to get it working on Azure. There are multiple ways to achieve this. I will show you here a couple of those. So here I'm sharing the home screen of the Azure portal. The very first option is create a resource. We're going to use that one. Here to the right, you see some marketplace images. Ubuntu among them. Ubuntu 18.04, Ubuntu 20.04. We are looking for 22.04, which is not on this list yet because it's a very new image. But we can go to virtual machine, create, and here we just give it a name and select a, a, a region regarding the image the one that you get populated is probably going to be different it depends on which one have you used recently the same as this list so i can see 2204 here because i have used it before you probably will not see the same thing so you go just to the bottom of this list, see all the images. You could search here, but luckily Ubuntu Server 2204 LTS is right here. So you select generation two. You could change the size depending on your workload <laughs> and you can choose how you want to administrate the virtual machine a public key or password. In my case, I'm going to use a, a key that I have here already on Azure to make it simpler and review and create. You get a last chance to check what you are creating. Also confirmation about the cost of infrastructure. This is free as operating system. This price that you get here is the the compute right from Azure itself. Uh, if everything is as intended, you just say create and wait for some seconds. After the deployment is complete, this is the message that you get. You can go to resource and you see that you got an IP address that you can use to access the machine or use one of the other options that the portal offers you here. That was Ubuntu Server. Now I'm going to show you how to do it for Ubuntu Pro. Ubuntu Pro is a premium image designed by Canonical to provide additional coverage for production environments running on the cloud. It includes security and compliance service enabled by default. And you pay as you go. It includes security patching for apps like Kafka, Mongo, RabbitMQ, Redis, and also for language like Java, Python, Ruby, JavaScript. Security patches are delivered automatically for 10 years, and the queue security updates are delivered using Lightpatch that helps you to increase your uptime. So it's really recommended that if you're launching an image for a production workload, you go for the Ubuntu Pro option. It also has certifications for security, like FIPS. It has tools related with CIS. So how you go about it? I'm going to show you now a different way. I'm again on the uh, homepage. This time let's go to a marketplace. And here we are going to use the search option this time. Ubuntu Pro 22 LTS. You see the two options, Ubuntu Server, the one that we launched at the beginning of the video, and the one that we want to launch now, Ubuntu Pro. Create. Same thing, it's going to use for a name for your virtual machine, the region, the image is already selected, the correct one and 
the size. You can you can change it as you wish. Uh, similarly to Ubuntu Server, here I'm going to use a, a keeper that I already have on Azure. Review on create. Here is a small difference. So you will see that Ubuntu Pro actually has some cost, but see how small it is compared to the compute. So for a fraction of the compute, you get all these additional benefits of the Ubuntu Pro product. You can confirm the rest of the options and you are good to go. Here is the confirmation page, deployment successful, go to resource and you are good to connect. That's all. So we saw how easy it is on the Azure Marketplace to launch the last version of Ubuntu 2204 Yami Jellyfish here on its server version or Ubuntu Pro. See you next time.